Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm painting Johannes from Zombie Side Green Horde. Hope everybody's doing well today and welcome back to the channel. Uh, Johannes is primed with Army Painter's Matte White. Uh, sometimes it's fun to start off with just white uh, on the base figure because then you can use colors like this. A Flesh Terror's Red, which is a contrast color from Citadel Colors. Uh, so contrast paint acts almost like a paint and a wash at the same time. So you'll see it is a little bit more liquid and uh, it actually does cover very well though. But then at the same time brings out the uh, lower color or the, the base color underneath it. Uh, so I'm going to be using this for his cape and I'm going to be trying a new technique of dry paints right after this actually which I've never done before. Uh, so I got some dry paints from Citadel and I've heard that they're really good for doing uh, just some dry brushing over colors. So I picked up some base colors uh, that would go over like reds, or, uh, blues, uh, stuff like that, greens. Anyways, uh, so and again like the white here is easy to cover up. You can use a lot of different colors on top of it and uh, yeah. Also, if you guys want, you can join my Discord channel. That is down in the description. Uh, you can vote on future projects. I'm almost done the Zombie Side Green Horde completely, so I'll be moving on to other uh, board games. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Alright, so this is the first time I'm going to be using this dry paint from Citadel, it's called Astareth Red. And I'm going to dry brush this on top of his cape. Now, it doesn't really come through too much on the camera, but you do see the edges being a little bit more light than the other ones. So it's pretty weird, this paint is like a gelatinous paint almost, looks like jello. Uh, pretty interesting, uh, or a little bit more liquidy too, viscous. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool, it comes out nice, I like it. I'm going to have to try this on other ones. Now we're going to use another contrast color called Fire Slayer Flesh. And of course this is going to be for the skin, so the face and the hands. And again you see that contrast just gets right into the recesses, keeps the highlighting so you have less work to do later on. So now we're going to be using one of Army Painter's unique paints which is in the D&D's Marvelous Pigments paint set. And I believe Sturge Tan is actually from the Underdark. If I'm not mistaken, paint set might be from the undead. I can never remember. Anyway, so I like this Sturge tan. I've used it before on many minis. Uh, this is just for like his crude dress or like that partially sort of leather something, I don't know, garment that he's wearing uh, just underneath some of his leather armor. And the Sturge tan later on with a wash comes out really nice actually. I find that it gives a good base coat. Alright, so this is Hardened Carapace from the Army Painters, right at one of the regular war paints. Uh, I guess I didn't shake it up well enough, it almost was a little liquidy and came out almost like a contrast paint on his boots here. Uh, so the white was sticking out, so I went over for a second coat, and uh, but it turns out pretty nice. And it's like a, between black and grey, so uh, I liked it. It was a good color to choose for the boots, instead of going with your typical black all the time. I'm going to come back to that dry stuff, it's just Eldar Flesh. So this is a dry paint, I'm going to use it just on the skin I just did. So I'm just going to take a little dry brush here and go over, try and get just the edges to bring out, to pop out the color of the head. And now I'm using some Pale Flesh, which is a zombie side green horde paint set from the Army Painter. But it's also a uh, mutant hue war paint, so if you don't have the zombie side green horde paint set, you can use mutant hue. That's what I use here. 
And this is for like all his little pouches and some of the belt because it was like a darker color than the other armor. But then whenever you get again that wash on these colors, on these purple and that, comes really nice. And I'm going to use some contrast color called Skeleton Horde. This is from Citadel Paints. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, contrast colors. I find it gives a nice leathery effect. And I use it on some parts of the bow and on his belts. It just gives it like that finishing little touch. Now we're going to move on to Filthy Cape. And uh, this I'm actually using on uh, his crossbow and his sword instead of using metallics. Uh, sometimes I find that using metallics just makes it too shiny. So this I found his sword and that was more dull. So I decided to use this gray instead. I'm going to use a Vallejo Game Ink Brown. And this is actually for the crossbow as well. I was hoping it was going to give it more of a wood color. I should have used Wildwood from the contrast colors. but it And it came out a little lighter than usual. I thought it was darker than this, but maybe because I used white. And I think it's the first time I use this on white. Uh, usually I use it on brown to give it like more detail. I also use this on his hair. You know, his hair is a little darker. I found this actually highlighted it just nicely. And I use it for his beard as well. Alright, so now we're going to move on to Evil Chrome, which is a Metallics paint from the Iron Painter, and this is from the Metallics Colors War Paint set. So you can only get it through that set. And this is going to be for all his uh, golden armor on the artwork, but I didn't want to go just gold, and I find this Evil Chrome is a good compromise with that. I'm using another one of those metallic colors. This is Night Scales. Uh, so this is actually going to go on the, la the, the rest of the armor that he has on, as well as on the tip of his boots. Now it does cover up that hardened carapace a bit, and it doesn't show much, but it just gives it a nice little shine uh, for his boots. As you can see, I'm just getting the little shoulder pads here. Not shoulder pads, sorry, but like arm braces. And now I'm going to move on to Scaly Hide. This is going to be for the base, and uh, it's plain and simple, it just covers up that nice base. I've been doing different kinds of greens and so on for bases, just because it's green horn and there's a lot of outdoor stuff. Now we're going to use some Gnome Oil, which is a kind of like a shader, or it is a shader, from Citadel Paints. And this is going to go on the entirety of the miniature, except for where I've used, well, except I used that, I put it on top of that set brown <laughs> gaming. I pretty much put it everywhere uh, just to finish them off. And off camera, I'm going to finish the base, and you'll see a picture of that at the end. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for all the support lately. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell. And check out my Discord channel if you want to vote on future projects and also talk about other stuff. We'll see you soon. Get your miniatures to the table.